Yesterday I had the opportunity to smell Altaïe by Parfums de Mali, and I'm excited to give you what my take is on the fragrance. This was a highly anticipated fragrance, in fact any of the Parfums de Mali fragrances that come out now are highly anticipated. And let me tell you, I was ready for this. I was extremely hyped. I love the colour, it reminded me of sort of like sand. Vanilla is one of my favourite notes of all time, and the name Altaïe, look, I mean, I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan. Please don't spoil Mirage for me, I haven't tried it yet. But unfortunately, I feel about Altair what everybody seems to feel about Mirage in the Assassin's Creed fan base. Not very good. I was expecting something like really bold. I saw the vanilla, I saw the, the sand dune sort of color, and maybe with the Altair from Assassin's Creed, I was thinking this is gonna be like a super sandy vanilla. This is gonna be something really, really interesting. I'm gonna actually tell you at the end of the video the exact fragrance that I thought this was going to be like, but it wasn't. It was a very soft vanilla. It was very, very calming. I actually found it to be quite disappointing, and I could imagine that actually some Parfums de Mali fans could be disappointed by this as well. Parfums de Mali are a controversial brand. Some people say that they're secretly a clone brand, but it's a little bit more nuanced than that. What they definitely do is that they take trends that are popular in designer fragrances, beef them up, amp them up, and make them arguably niche quality. But the big thing that's niche quality about them is usually the performance. I found this to be an unusual fragrance choice, especially when they already have one of the most popular niche vanilla fragrances going, which is Pegasus, and to a lesser degree, Pegasus exclusive. I was intrigued to know what they were gonna do with it. I didn't buy this because there's no way that I'm paying 225 pounds for a, a full bottle, but I'll get to that in a little bit. But I did spray it on, and that was my scent of the day yesterday and it was very underwhelming. I thought that, especially on the card, this was incredibly underwhelming. The vanilla was very, very soft. It smelled kind of in between like a vanilla scent and something airing on Givenchy Gentleman, Reserve Privé, that sort of sensible, cozy, warming, somewhat boozy vanilla fragrance, but this was toned all the way down. I didn't think it was necessarily synthetic, in fact, I actually felt as though it wasn't really anything. After only about three or four hours, I actually forgot that I'd put it on. So let's just quickly talk about the fundamentals of the fragrance. I thought the presentation was killer. I actually thought that it was a great, great fragrance presentation. Again, the sand, the name Altier, it kind of set up the fragrance to fail for me a little bit because I was expecting something kind of different, but I thought that the presentation was really cool. But the smell and scent was, too subtle. Very subtle for a Parfums de Mali fragrance, who are known for things like Herod, Carlisle, Leighton, and Pegasus, which are very bombastic, huge fragrances that fill the entire room and sometimes the entire house. There are so many fragrances that I can recommend to you that are so much more worth it and so much more worth the money, and that's the biggest issue here. This is £225 for 125 milliliter. I forbid you to buy this fragrance at that price range. The 75 milliliter, I think I've seen it like fluctuate between 110, 140. No, it's just not worth the money. There are so many different fragrances that you could be buying at so much better price points that have so much more going on and that have so much better quality. There's ways to do vanilla, there's ways to do woodsy, boozy fragrances that are on the niche category that are also subtle and soft, which I'll get into, but there's no way no way that you should be buying this full retail. Look, if you really liked it, you really enjoyed it, you thought that the soft vanilla thing was really, really interesting, that's great and that's fine. But what I'm here to tell you is that you can buy that kind of thing very easily for a much, much lower price tag. So I've already referenced this, this is Givenchy's Gentleman um, Reserve Privé. There's so many names these days, I can't even remember. Absolutely great caramel, boozy, woodsy iris fragrance with lashings of vanilla. So much going on, a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. You don't need to spend the money on Altair. With a really purist um, vanilla fragrance, and I know that this isn't available in uh, in some countries, but this is Eau de Michon's um, oh, Le Covent de Menemies. Great, great fragrance. I know that this is not available in, I think, America now. So you can either go for this or you can go for Spiritus du Blavigny by Galin. These are great, great vanilla fragrances. This, especially if you can get it, an amazing vanilla fragrance that you can get for 250 milliliters for about 22 pounds. An absolutely amazing, amazing price tag. Usually you get what you pay for with this, you don't. You get way more than what you pay for. So if you want like a bright, um, soft but cozy vanilla. There's also to consider One Million Parfum, which is a heavy vanilla that has got some sweetness, but it's really toned down, really cool, really vanillic, 
really bright, really straightforward. So there's that, and you know, the price tag is just an de average designer price tag. In fact, I think that you can get the 100 mil of this for less than the Parfums de Mali 75 milliliter. Okay, so now this is a fragrance that is worth the money for that kind of price tag. This is Elixir by Centuri Parfums. This is an incredibly heavy, boozy vanilla fragrance. This is kind of what I thought I was gonna get. There's another fragrance, the, the final fragrance that I'm gonna mention here, which is what I actually thought that Altair was gonna be, but this is an incredibly boozy vanilla fragrance, very cozy, and the performance longevity, I think that this is probably the strongest fragrance that I've ever, ever owned. You put this on, one spray fills the entire room. If you're a Parfums de Mali fan, and you were a little bit disappointed, a little bit jaded by Altair, and you still want that gumption, you still want a huge, massive vanilla fragrance that has whiskey and a little bit of woods, I would highly recommend Elixir by Centauri. And finally, the fragrance that I actually thought that this was going to smell like, bar none, was by Andy Tower. I thought it was actually gonna smell exactly like Vanilla Flash. So this is exactly the iconography of the Altair fragrance. It is sandy, like almost wood shaving sandy vanilla, and it's very strong. Not the strongest fragrance in the world, but incredibly strong. Definitely much more stronger, definitely a lot more elaborate, definitely a lot more interesting than Altair. This is really, truly a hidden gem fragrance, in my opinion. Very striking, very unusual use of vanilla, and that's what I really thought Parfums de Mali were gonna do, especially with the fact that they already have Pegasus, which is sweet and vibrant and bright. I thought that they were gonna make a more sandy, deeper sort of like woodier wood chips uh, fragrance, kind of like the same sort of texture as this table. I thought that that's what they were gonna go for and I was really excited. But if that's what you envisioned and you didn't get that, then really, truly check out Vanilla Flash by Andy Tower. Anyway, that is my take. Of course, it's my personal take. If you did like it, that's fine. But look, Vanilla Flash is nowhere near the price tag of Parfums de Mali. In general, I think that we've gotta be wary because there are more and more niche fragrances that are coming out that lack quality, that don't have any sort of virality. They don't have the high quality, they don't have the projection, they don't have the longevity, they don't have the overall performance. More fragrances like this are coming out and the prices are getting higher and higher. And that's just not right. Anyway, I'm the Fragrance Apprentice. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Bye.